that's it we're skipping the intro so listen we've got to talk about smile i just saw it yesterday and this movie blew my mind i'm gonna go out on a limb right now smile is the best horror movie of 2022 i stand by that and i will die on that hill now let me explain why when i first started when i first sat down to watch it i was thinking about the trailer um it could have been it could have come across cheesy you know the smile the the trailer seemed to show a lot like i don't know it, it looked intriguing but it could be one of those movies that, that everything was showed in the trailer and you know some cheap jump scares everybody goes home you know happy watching an okay you know poor movie that was entertaining that was far from it the acting was great the jump scares were great the no i want to harp on the jump scares i saw a, a review i think it was imdb somebody stated there was too many jump scares when you're watching a horror movie you can put 85,000 jump scares in your home movie you want to as long as they make sense as long as they don't they don't overstay their welcome or get played out this movie did an amazing job with switching up the, the type of jump scare it wasn't the same one a lot of movies that do that, that rely on jump scares do one or two good ones in the beginning and then keep the same formula for those same two throughout the movie so they 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 each time it happens it means less and less this was not like that and credit and kudos to whoever was behind the soundtrack and score of this film because the cinematography and the soundtrack slash score kept you on on edge between each jump scare I was blown away by this movie. The acting, I, have to, I go back to the acting again. So this follows, uh, the main character is a psychologist or psych, psych, uh, a psychiatrist that sees patients in a, um, she's in one of the, the more uh, intense wards. And a patient comes in to talk to her, to her or to, and she's terrified about this thing that keeps falling her that only she can see. And she's talking about this terrifying smile now they did a great job <clears throat> in setting up how smart this psychiatrist was and how just how she was able to interact with her patients and her co-workers so there, it's important because after she was exposed to this thing and you started to see her life go downhill it made sense and you can see where she was and how she was put together to where she ended up at the end and it was like we 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 traveled down her descent with her and it wasn't just her it was everyone involved everybody in this movie a train was in this movie being a train you know but um he was her boyfriend in this movie i, I didn't even, i don't even remember seeing him in the trailer but you know he was in it and he he did his thing too but he reminded me a lot of a train <laughs> the, the same kind of role same everything that, that he did in this but anyway i digress everybody that was on screen held up their own everyone on screen did a phenomenal job the people behind this movie cared they cared and they wanted to make the best horror movie they possibly could and I'm going to tell you why I feel this was the best pure horror movie because it got back to the basics. I love the jump scare, but I, but I just don't like the cheap ones. When you take a jump scare movie and put it with a good story and put it with tension, with 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 tense music and and great build up and great acting, you have a perfect movie. Before this movie, I was un, I was under the impression that Black Phone was the best movie of the year for horror that i'd seen black black phone wasn't scary it it was just, it was a good story and it ended up well and it was it was a good it was a good movie well acted everything like that well crafted but it wasn't scary this movie was scary and it's hard to say that a movie's scary these days because they don't really seem to really be that anymore and what i liked about it is People are trying to get more into the story of horror, and in, in, in doing that, sometimes they get wrapped up in making such a good movie that they forget the horror side of things. This didn't, and for me, 
creepy smiles have always been a thing that just is it's creepy and, and, and gets to me like I think of some scenes from hereditary um, that's just what popped up to my head you know in the forefront some creepy scenes with with those random smiles uh, another thing they did speaking of kind of like hereditary was I originally didn't like the way they had close up close-ups on the main characters but in hindsight it was done in on purpose I'm not gonna go into detail as to why when you watch the movie you can see it for yourself but this movie I, I, I had to talk to you guys about it if you were on the fence about seeing this movie if you didn't have nothing to do this weekend you got to go to the theater for it. it's a theater movie this is not at home movie obviously when it comes out yeah watch it at home but this is a you got to get the full effect at it and that's being in the theater being in this, that surround sound environment completely pitch black with the big screen and feeling every moment because this is a movie that you're going to feel you're going to you're going to feel for the main characters you're going to feel for the creepiness factor you're going to feel it and hear it in the sounds and the cinematography it's just shows that these this person's life and these people's lives were turned completely upside down i i want to watch it again i'm, I'm probably won't go see it in the theater again but i'm definitely going to see it when it comes back out this movie i can't i can't say enough about it and if you have seen it of course as always let me know in the comments if you haven't seen it and you go check it out and you hated it let me know well, let's talk about it tell me what you didn't like about it if you did if this if this video and you, you decide to go see it and love it come back and tell me what you tell uh, tell me what you thought I, I want, i'd love to talk more about it but i had to tell you guys boy this movie was something else and i think part of the reason why it was because the expectations weren't through the roof you know and that's that's that kind of it's not fair but it also is like that goes with the territory sometimes you know when you start a year out and you see something like halloween coming out from like that was mentioned two years ago the expectation and build up for halloween is palpable and anytime halloween or michael myers name pops up everyone is going to be on edge waiting to see it anyway so it's very hard to even reach the expectation level in a movie like that because so many people are invested because of 40 plus years of being invested in the series this quick trailer you know not much fanfare and came out of the left field and crushed it the best horror movie thus far this it, the, the best horror movie thus far in 2022 i stand by that anyways guys that's my video check out smile if you're new here it's the glad's horror channel the best horror channel here on youtube i talk all things horror if you're returning thank you again for checking this out like this this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'll see you guys next time